At ILM, we've been doing visual effects for a very long time. We have decades of reference material, such as effects elements, dust, fire, water, explosions. We send teams of photographers to shoot various types of skies and terrain all over the world. It's a huge library and there's a lot of information, a lot of data, a lot of imagery to go through. Sometimes it can be quite daunting. And so when I start thinking about how to design the landscape, I always think about the emotional tone. And then I try to find a suitable background to help support that. The real power of NVIDIA Deep Search is that it allows us to use natural language to search through all of this massive amount of data. For years, we've actually used artificial intelligence for a lot of the more technical needs on our shots. Now we're at a place where we're using artificial intelligence to communicate creatively with one another. We want to make this feel as real as possible. So the brief would be, let's find something that's very dark and brooding. You know, Landis will then go and find all these different backgrounds and skies that can fit that mood. And it's really important because then it gives me, as a production designer, sort of flexibility to pick and choose as if I was actually on location, looking at different sky conditions, and then finding one that's the perfect note. Just using NVIDIA Search alone to not have to tag all of our material is a huge benefit. But one of the things that it also has allowed us to do is lean on artificial intelligence to not only give us a curated list of thumbnails for things that you'd never were present for, but also to mix and match those results to create something that never existed. One of the wonderful things now with VR tools is that we can actually virtually scout an environment, a virtual environment together with the artist as if we were on location. Not only does NVIDIA Deep Search tie in seamlessly with Omniverse, but it also allows us to do that on set live with the brain bar or right there in the middle of the LED volume.